To set up a tracking backup with MaxNet, let's go to the blue dot quick menu in the upper left hand corner and dive into the system menu. Now we're going to navigate down to network and here we're on the settings tab. The first thing we need to do to set up a tracking backup is go over here to interfaces. We're going to see all of the network interfaces available on the current computer and we need to go to the one that we want to turn MaxNet on with. Now, you should generally wire your tracking backup in a show situation, but if you're using a computer as a remote wirelessly, you can use MaxNet on Wi-Fi. So I've clicked my Wi-Fi interface here, and over here on the right, I see the Options tab. I'm going to turn MaxNet on and hit Apply. You'll need to do this on your backup, as well as your main machine to ensure that MaxNet is on. Now, let's go over to Shows. We can see here now that we've got the same show file open on two different computers. One is this computer, and the other is another computer on the network. Once you have MaxNet enabled on both computers on the network interface that they're connected to your network with, you're now able to go on the slave computer, click on the show file you want to join, and press the join key. The console is going to ask you if you want to join, and of course the answer is probably yes. The show will then load, and you'll be in slave mode, with the master being the console that was running the show file first. Now, let me show you how to join a network show from the startup screen. From the M series startup screen, we can use join show to join a show as a tracking backup. You'll see here any show files that are available on the network you're connected to, and you're able to press join, just like from the menu. Once you press yes, you'll be joining the network show. Once your network show loads, you'll be able to see in the upper left-hand corner next to the word MPC whether you are a master or slave on the network. This will let you know at all times whether you're a master or slave or standalone because the network's dropped off. In a tracking backup situation, you will need to swap over your DMX cables and enable ArtNet on your backup when the changeover happens. However, all of your queues, playbacks, programmer operation, patch data, and your MaxNet chat will be synchronized between the master and the slave console.